Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is The Narcissistic Resistance. And this isn't a sponsored video. This isn't a with contribution. I'm doing this for free for um, Sean. And you're going to see why I'm doing this for free very shortly. <clears throat> hey, Ollie. Like your videos, learning a ton about people from watching. So 14 years ago, my older brother, 19 at the time, went to jail for shaking his baby, who now has a mental disability. <clears throat> he was living with my dad and his covert narcissist wife at the time. Years later, I lived with them for one year before his wife also drove me to rage. I left the, big, the biggest hole in her wall. I could have packed my things and moved out. I realized exactly what happened to my brother. She drove him to rage in true narcissistic fashion. But my brother is bipolar and the combination of drinking, mania, and psychological abuse caused a psychotic episode where his rage was misplaced and very tragically onto his child. My brother gets out of prison in six months. Hell, he'll, pro he'll probably go live with my dad and the narcissist, which I am guessing, especially since now he is institutionalized, is probably going to cause him to either have another psychotic episode or self-sabotage and go back to prison where he has a solid understanding of himself. My dad is completely on the fence about his marriage these days and has no idea what a narcissist is. He needs to break it off, but he doesn't have the balls or the knowledge to make the decision. He actually has a full action plan for breaking up with her, though. So my question is, how do I make this narcissist spiral and destroy her marriage or go deep into depression or something that would end the marriage? This person has taken so much from my family, and I'm the only one who knows it, apparently. Sean. Sean you're going to have a very difficult time trying to garner sympathy for your brother who shook his own child to the point where he mentally incapacitated him. You know? I mean, he's been away for, he's got 15 years for that, if he's still in. I would ask the question, Sean, what's been going, what, what happened in your family to, to get you and him to this point where you're punching a hole in a wall and he's shaking his own kid. Now I understand there's bipolar, drinking, mania, but your attention is fixed in the wrong place. First, my advice is never you don't try to get revenge on the narcissist. You get away from the narcissist. And at this point in the endeavor, after basically 15 years in prison for mentally incapacitating his own child, you are not going to turn anybody against the mother. I can't believe she'd take him back. Your brother's going to come out of prison a very, as you said, he's been institutionalized. Probably only understands prison. You're not going to be the one to end this marriage. You're not. If she's going to take him back after mentally incapacitating their own child by shaking him, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to drive yourself crazy, get yourself thrown in prison, and your brother thrown back in prison. Some people can't be helped, Sean. You know what this person is. Now, if what you're saying, and I have a real hard time going along with, she drove him to shake her on his own child, I, that's a that, that that that's a long haul, a long haul. Now, if 
is bipolar. Like, why does she want to live with a bipolar person if she just don't wants to use and abuse them? There's more to this. You trying to get into her spiraling and destroying her marriage, if shaking her child to the point of mental disability, to the point where he's in prison for 15 years didn't end the marriage, what are you going to do? This is probably the harshest example, Sean, of the only way you beat the narcissist is not to play the game. You're not going to get revenge. You're not going to break up this marriage. He's going to do what he wants to do. Your father apparently is still living with the purse. I mean, the, the whole situation sounds crazy, Sean. My advice to you is to worry about yourself. Who knows? I don't know what the deal is with the with, with the child he injured, who's now what? 15, 16, 14, 15, 16 at this point. Where are they at? Seeking revenge is not, I mean, you're, you're really putting the cart before, I mean, your brother's still sitting in prison. I understand his family and you feel she drove him to it because of what she does. You're not going to beat that. If she's willing to take him back after 15 years, you think he's going to, after after injuring his own child with her, you think you're going to tell him something after 15 years in prison? You're only going to drive yourself crazy trying to get revenge on the narcissist. So don't do it. My suggestion would be cut it all out. Otherwise... You're going to end up in prison and nobody is going to find sympathy in your brother's side saying she drove him to shake his own baby. It's, it's not, nobody's going to buy that, Sean. So I really hope you take my words seriously and I hope this helps. Um, thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, if you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype chat, phone call, have a private video made, or a Facebook chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or you just want to sponsor the channel in general for new equipment, new cameras, keep the lights on, the bills paid, keep it going, that's great too. You know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. And if you're still unclear, wait for the instructional video link to pop up on the screen at the end of this video to walk you through all of that. If you're not seeing it, check your pop-up blocker. Please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Even though YouTube is trying to shadow ban me. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.